Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports. It's Saturday. We've got a five game slate. Um, we're not going to cover the first game because uh, we're getting this video out at about 1.30 Eastern. And so we don't like giving you guys plays that by the time the video gets out, they're active for like 30 minutes. So we skipped that first game. Uh, so these are all for the later windows, uh, window games. We have four picks for you. Um, you know, we're working our way back uh, a little. I mean, I'm, I'm working my way back. Like uh, I've been I, I've been in the dumps, um, but my plays did OK yesterday. Um, I put out five plays total, went three and two. Um, and uh, the Derek Jones Jr. play on um, underdog surprisingly was almost there, um, but he went 0 of 7 from the field. Seven rebounds, uh, got to the free throw line, I think like once. Um, so he ended with like nine, and I think we took him over 11 and a half or 12 and a half, something like that. Terrible outing. And then, man, the play that I was really feeling good about, um, Tyus Jones, six and a half assists. There's He can't get that done when my sons are shooting 30%. It was like a god awful performance from the field by the Suns last night. Very unfortunate to watch. Um, but yeah, what did you say going into that game too? <laughs> you didn't think it was going to be a challenge. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to yeah. be a challenge. Yeah, but um, you know, I mean, like, sure, I think OKC uh, plays. They're they're a good defensive team, but you're missing Chet and Hartenstein, and like you you have a health not a health fully healthy Nurk. You know, Miles Plumley did end up missing the game. I thought we would have a big advantage uh, in the paint. Um, but still, I mean, to go to, to shoot the way we did, like Booker, Booker shot like, was it like zero, 10 from three or something? Or no, he went like two and 10 from the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, that's going to tank those assists. Um, yeah, I thought the Suns would be able to keep it closer. Um, no, I was just trolling you. I totally agree. Oh, no, I, I know what you're doing there. I'm sitting over here acting like a lifer, <laughs> OKC fan. <laughs> yeah, Jordy, Jordy got on board uh, this year after he nah, they needed a couple, last year. They needed a couple <laughs> powerful years before Jordy's like, I think this is my team. But, hey, man, um, I can't back losers when it comes to the NBA. I already have a horrible football hey, team. When it comes to, you guys have heard me say this before, but his whole family, they're just big franchise bandwagoners. My I'm team sorry. sucks. The Cowboys <laughs> haven't won since before yeah. I was born. So how long? How long before you bail? No, uh. that's true. You have you have been loyal to the Cowboys, but yeah, um, yeah Booker two of ten from the field. He took zero three pointers. Uh, Josh Akogi four of twelve. Um, Tyus two of eight. Nurkic zero of seven. Ryan Dunn, four of thirteen. Uh, Royce O'Neal, four of ten, and Monte Morris, two of seven. It's like, yeah, when you shoot like that, uh, those assists are not going to cash. Um, just a god awful performance. Um, yeah, and then the Thunder. The Thunder didn't have to do that much. It was like all defense, and boy, were they active on defense. Um, I won't break that all down for you, but <laughs> we'll, we'll skip the rest of that. We'll save that for another day. But um, but yeah, I mean, the Thunder won uh, with scoring 99 points. Um, the Suns just had a really bad outing. Um, unfortunate, but, uh, but uh, Dyson Daniels cashed his PRA. Dude went nuts again, popped off. Wimby cashed his PRA. And then... Um, Julius Randle cashed those free throws for us quick, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get back in the groove here, man. I've been talking about it. Like I, I, I've been in a slump and I'm going to get out of it. Oh, uh, I'm determined. But I got to own it. I got to publicly talk about it. I, I need to be real. You well, know? since you're being real, yeah. let me be real real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I went one and three yesterday. Yesterday was a horrible day. Uh, frustrating from the perspective of uh, Devin Vassell. For those free throws because he got tackled by LeBron underneath the basket and they didn't call it. And there was a lot of missed calls for San Antonio yesterday. I feel like the, the refs are being a little biased towards the Lakers, if I might say so myself. But uh, that could just be the because Chiefs. I'm frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> the Chiefs of the NBA. Yeah, if you will. for sure. 100%. 
And uh, they're the ones who were crying about not getting enough calls last year. And then they didn't get any calls for the rest of the year. But uh, yeah, it's just, it was, a, it was a rough outing for me for sure. You go through these times. I mean, there was a period last year where we were both like cashing every single night. And you go through those ups and downs. I mean, that's just the reality of betting, right? Not the, uh, some of the stuff you see online where these guys are promising you're going to buy a McLaren with their picks. But that's not what we are. We're honest about it, you know? Sometimes you uh, you just go through sprees where you lose a lot. Sometimes you go through hot streaks. It's just how it is. It's like that with anything. Yeah. And by betting, he means daily fantasy. Daily of fantasy. Course. Betting is, uh, yeah. We That's not do. what we do. No. We're playing daily fantasy. Yeah, we're playing a game um, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, let's talk about today's plays. Um, before we do, uh, actually, we've we spent enough time. Uh, I'll tell you the plays, and then we'll talk about our promos. So the plays that I'm taking, uh, I'm going to be going with uh, Keegan Murray over 21 and a half uh, points rebounds. Let me make sure. Am I getting this at a different line? I am. Okay. So we are getting the best play for Keegan on parlay play, uh, but on prize picks, I still like it over the 22 and a half points rebounds. And then um, let's see. Yeah. Getting it at 22 and a half points rebounds on underdog too. And then I'm taking RJ Barrett points and assists 27 and a half. I'm taking this for the under uh, I'm going for less on this one. Um, and I'm getting that line across the board. What are you getting into Jordy? Yeah, so I'm going to be going with um, Jason Tatum over three and a half three-pointers made. And then I'm taking Chris Paul for over... Uh, did I take Paul away? Uh, oh. Well, I was going to take Chris Paul for over um, eight and a half points. We are getting this play still on uh, Parlay Play and Underdog. Uh, it looks like they're bumping him on underdog too. So uh, just stay tuned for that. I'm sure they'll bring Chris Paul back. It might just be at nine points. If it's at nine points, I still like it. If it's at nine and a half, I would personally still take it because I like the matchup. I'll break it down, but uh, I, I'd still take it at eight and a half, nine and a half points. If it goes up to like 10 though, I'll skip out on that one. But um, yeah, eight and a half is really a good line. So we're getting that on parlay play. We were getting that on prize picks as well. So we'll just see if it comes back or not. Did you get that on underdog as well? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll start breaking down the, the promos and whatnot. And then uh, if you had a pivot you wanted to look for, uh, if not, yeah, whatever you want to do. Cool. Um, all right. So let's talk briefly about our partners. Um, we are running this special with Parlay Play. We've been running it for a while. We're, we're extending it because you guys have been taking advantage of it. And it's awesome. It helps us out. And then we're... Uh, kicking that back to you guys giving you 30 days in our premium discord uh, if you sign up with our code on parlay play uh, so you use code backdoor on parlay play they're going to give you a 100 percent deposit match up to a hundred dollars plus a five dollar promo slip which i think is cool instead of just a free pick i still love the free picks but uh the the free play is is a cool idea um and then uh yeah if you use the code uh, which is backdoor. You just use that code when you're making your first deposit. And we're going to give you 30 days in our Discord on top of that. Um, so all you have to do to take advantage of that is email us at bdfantasysports at gmail.com. And then we need your Discord username, your Parlay Play username, and then Parlay Play updates us uh, every morning uh, with the list of people who signed up with the code. So as long as you make sure you use that code, uh, we'll be able to identify that and get you in the Discord for 30 days. Um, we're also partnered with Underdog. So uh, if you guys use code Backdoor with Underdog, they're going to give you up to $1,000 in bonus cash and then also a free pick to help you cash your first slip. We have all of our partners in the description of the video if you want to use any of our codes. Um, really is a great way to support us. We appreciate it. Um, it's uh, continuing to help us get that much closer to going full time um, with, with uh, what we love to do. Um, so. Uh, we appreciate the support. Uh, speaking of support, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop us a comment if you have any questions about plays. Uh, I know I've got at least a, a pivot or two that I'm going to be talking about before we wrap up. But um, but yeah, just drop us a comment, and we'll uh, you know it takes us a little bit longer. But we literally, when I see a when I see a, a question about a pick uh, in the comments. I hop on outlier. I hop on daily grind. I do the same thing I do in the video. It just takes a little bit longer, but we like that dynamic, uh, being able to give you guys that extra value if it helps you out. So, um, and sometimes you guys are putting plays on our radar that I'm like, great. Uh, I, I like this play too. I'm going to take it as well. So, um, so yeah. And then as always, if you guys don't mind just hitting the like button, 
<laughs> we, we hate to ask. Uh, it just feels cheesy, but it's such a big help to us. And, um, you know, we get thousands of views on these videos and uh, we barely crack a hundred likes. So I don't think it's because you guys hate the content. You guys are tuning in, uh, you know, video after video, but, um, but yeah, just press that little button for us. Yeah, I mean, and, if you guys uh, don't want me to feed my family, don't press it. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, yeah. You want Jordy to starve? You want me to starve no. over here? You want me to not get my coffee? <laughs> just kidding. No, just playing. But, we appreciate yeah. it for sure. Yeah, we do. Um, and we got to talk about it. Yeah. I wish it didn't make a difference, but it does make a difference whether yeah. we mention it or not. Like when I forget to talk about it, we'll get like twenty-five likes on like three thousand <laughs> views. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, let's talk about these plays. Uh, cool. Keegan Murray. Real quick. Oh, sorry. Did I, you find a pivot? Yeah, I do have a pivot. I like Austin Reeves for over 22 and a half points assists. I'll get into why, but that's going to be my pivot. The reason Chris Paul got taken away is because Wimby is a game time decision now. So, oh, yeah. So, okay. All, All right. right. Well, Keegan Murray, I like him to get this done. Um, I wanted to go with the points rebounds. I decided to fade the assists. Usually when it's just a one point bump like it is, um, I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to take that. Uh, but in this case, uh, he just, you know, he, I mean, if you'd rather take that, I'll, I'll show you all the plays on Daily Grind here in a minute so you can see if there's a play you like better. But the dude is just capable of being an absolute monster on the boards. He does have a softer matchup, uh, 21st in assists allowed to small forwards. So that one point bump isn't bad. The problem is on underdog, um, it is actually a two point bump. So I like the 22 and a half points rebounds. So I'm just going with that alone. I just feel better about it. So coming off that game against Minnesota, 14 points, 10 rebounds. I know he hasn't cleared this line a whole lot, but we do have some uh, injury injuries to talk about. We have Larry Markinen, game time decision. Uh, we have uh, Walker Kessler is still out. Taylor Hendricks still out. Um, and then uh, for the Kings, DeMar DeRozan is a game time decision tonight as well with back soreness. Malik Monk still out. And as of four hours ago, we got Sabonis a game time decision. Um, dealing with back issues as well. Um, so I'm guessing he plays, but we'll see. We'll see if they would even need him. Um, you know, it's a 230 over under playing in Sacramento. Um, the Kings favored by 11. We have uh, De'Aaron Fox coming off that monster 60 point game. Um, I was tempted to take his uh, PRA, which I still do like. My only concern is I think it's a little inflated coming off of that game. And then on top of that, uh, if this game gets out of control, it's not an NBA Cup night and they're coming off of a back to back. And so I'm thinking if this gets out of control, they might just give uh, De'Aaron Fo Fox some rest, um, especially if uh, we've got no marking in tonight. If that happens to be the case, I think the Kings are going to just walk through uh, the Jazz in this game. But I do like that to benefit Keegan Murray. Maybe he gets a little bit of extra game time. So feeling good about him going over this. Um, averaging 37.3 minutes per game um, coming off that last game. Uh, Wow, that didn't even go to overtime, huh? 130 to 126, is that right? No overtime? Um, I could be wrong about that, but usually Outlier will tell you up top if it went to overtime. Um, the dude played 45 minutes. Uh, if Oh, no, it, it was overtime. Okay, cool. I was like, that's a crazy game. Um, so yeah, 45 minutes, including overtime. It showed it down there in the minutes. Um, but yeah, just 2.8 fouls per game. He actually hasn't been that active on defense. I used to like to take his uh, fantasy score because uh, he went through a little run there where he was getting pretty active on defense, but he hasn't been as much lately. So I just like the points rebounds to go over, uh, averaging 12.7 rebound chances per game. Um, you can see like the dude is just active getting in the thick of it, you know, when, uh, when it comes to uh, getting uh, these rebounds. Um, this little stretch here, he, uh, I mean, he's gone for double digit potential rebounds. You know, the, the chances he has at it, he's gone for double digits and, and like most of his games this year. And then, uh, this little run here, we went for 16, 16, 21, a little bit less here in these two games. And you can see that corresponds, but he is kind of grabbing a, a pretty consistent percentage of his opportunities here. Um, and then they don't have the info for that last game that we went to overtime. 
But really the main thing about this play is the narrative for me, uh, back to back. Um, you know, he's one of the younger players on the team who I think would see extended minutes if there was a blowout situation, they would let maybe let him close out um, the game. And uh, with that over under and then the potential injuries, potential guys missing, um, I just like the points rebounds the best. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, they actually love his points to go over on prize picks at 14 and a half. It's a 52.52% odds to hit the over minus 128 and everyone's juice in this to go over for the most part. Anyone that has it at 14 and a half likes to go over. I like that play too. Um, okay, so this is actually, let me change the setting here. I had it set to overs for this one, so I just wouldn't even see the uh, the unders too. Yeah, they've got his fantasy score under, kind of inflated at 30. That They like that under as his best play, but I just... I don't really want to take that under. Um, they love his rebounds and assists. Actually, it does look pretty good. I know I was saying he's not that active on rebounds and ass uh, on assists in particular, but he does have a soft matchup and 8.5 does seem pretty juicy. If you'd rather take that, you could take that. That's a 53.47% odds to hit the over, minus 134. Um, they don't like the points rebounds, so um, they're disagreeing with me on this. So if you guys like any of these plays better, you can see everything that the optimizer is telling you right there. I'm going to stick with his points rebounds. Um, I just I think he'll be uh, consistent enough and I like the narrative. So I'm going to go down with the ship if I'm wrong about this one. But um, they have this favor to go under 51.93% uh, odds to hit the under minus 126. So yeah, go with your gut. Um, they like the PRA over. So I picked the one that the optimizer doesn't like, um, but I'm stick I'm sticking with my narrative here. They like his rebounds alone at seven to go over and so on. You guys can see the rest of those. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna throw that rebounds and assists in, into, uh, into a slip or two as well. That does look juicy. Eight and a half, he could do that on rebounds alone. Um, I don't anticipate him like facilitating that much. He doesn't seem to uh, be like, you know, dropping assists that often. So. Um, so we're going with an under for my second play, which if you guys are like me, these give you anxiety. Um, you know, when you're taking an over, you're hopeful for most of the time, even if it's like fourth quarter and the, your boy has a lot to do to cash it, you, you just have this optimism. You're nervous, but you've got that optimism. But if you're in the fourth quarter and you took an under and the dude just needs like a couple more to bust the, the play, I'm just like pure anxiety. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna be taking this, uh, I'm taking this under here. I just really like, I like this and I uh, thought about taking the full PRA, but he is capable of getting a decent amount of boards. Um, and uh, I, I feel better about uh, him not going crazy with the assists tonight. Playing against Boston, obviously really tough matchup. And um, we got a 229 and a half over under Boston favored by 17 playing in Boston. I mean, the dude just does not have help right now. Um, if we take a look at this injury report, Scotty Barnes out, Bruce Barn Bruce Brown out, Kelly Olenek still out, Emmanuel quickly, you know, he popped back for like a game or two and uh, he's he's out again tonight. So I just don't think he's going to be able to get this done. <laughs> With this, uh, with this stout defense. And then uh, if we take a look here, he's only cleared this four out of his last 10 games. Um, and then in that last game, he did pop off for seven assists uh, against Detroit, but uh, that has not been typical. I know that he's capable. I mean, like he's had some, some beast games with the assists. So I hope that he's not able to get this done. But even all that being said, he's only hit this 40% of the time in 2024 but what really sold me on it is uh outlier has this option here i keep telling you guys outlier just gives you every scenario so you can click this little button and it says show only away games so i can see what he what he's looked like on the road compared to some of those home games and um he's done this once out of six games on the road um and it, that was against charlotte when he popped off for 31 points so i'm feeling great about this if we look at the head-to-head -head, um He's done this once against Boston and he cleared it by one PA, you know? Um, so, and he was pretty close these other times, but um, if we do the same thing, that was also a home game. Uh, so when he plays uh, in Boston, he, he hasn't been able to get this done. Let's take a look at what the minutes were. So he still played 30.7 minutes in that game. So I'm feeling comfortable taking the under here. Um, as far as the matchup goes, overall as a team, sixth in points allowed, seventh in assists allowed. If we pop over to the shooting guard position, 
uh, 16th in points allowed, fifth in assists allowed. So I just think, you know, if I'm wrong about this, it's because he just really pops off and, and has like a really good outing against one of the toughest defenses in the league. But um, yeah, what was the last thing I was going to look at here? Yeah, and he also is coming off of a back-to-back. -back. Now he has this tough matchup against Boston. So I'm I'm uh, I'm going with the under here. I've got it locked in. Already shared it to the Discord. If we take a look at the optimizer, they've got most of his stuff favored to go under. Um, they've the fantasy score is their favorite. They've got that at a 55.32% odds to hit the under, uh, minus 123. That's because Prize Picks has it bumped up way at 37. Bet MGM has that 35.2. Um, but yeah, they've got his PRA favor to go under. They like the points and assists to go under even more than the PRA. So the points assists is a 51.78% odds to hit the under, minus 125. And everybody, every platform that has this is favoring this to go under. Um, so on parlay play, we're getting that 27 and a half. Um, but then uh, for Keegan, we are getting that 21.5 PR. So these are going to be my plays. Uh, I'm feeling good about it. It's kind of a tough board today. Um, you know, I think it'll open up a little bit more the closer we get to these night games. But right now, there's just there's not a whole lot. Uh, but after Jordy goes through his picks, I'll show you a, a, another little honorable mention that I'm going to be running it back with tonight. Um, so if you guys want to check out Outlier, they're going to let you try this for free. Seven days. Uh, just go through the link in the description of the video. Go have fun with this app, guys. I promise you, like, you can use this for NBA, NFL. Um, I think they cover NHL, baseball. Uh, but it it is super clutch, uh, especially for, like, even when I'm setting my fantasy football lineups, I'll hop an outlier and, and make some decisions, some roster lineup decisions uh, based off of just looking at all these extra details with matchups. Like I showed you, you can go, go to just away games. I can take RJ Barrett and say, so what did he do the last time quickly was out? And um, just you can select anybody to take out of the equation and it shows you every game that that player wasn't on the floor. I think it's so cool. Um, yeah, matchups, injury reports are super clutch. Um, you know, they, they're really on top of updating you and then they uh, typically give you a little note about what's going on. And then this insights tab is super cool too. Um, you know, they just uh, point you in the direction of props that they like to go over or under. They show you the history of it and then you can click right into it and then it'll take you to that play on Outlier or you can uh, go straight through Outlier to the, the platform that they're finding that prop on and it'll uh, log, you know, log you in and, and uh, grab that prop for you. So it's, it's killer. Try it out for seven days through the link in the description. I'm going to pass it over to Jordy. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Just trying to click over here. So Sorry, to get into mine. Freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> so to get into mine here, I'm going to be taking Tatum over three and a half three pointers. Um, I feel really good about this one. Uh, it's just going to be a little sketchy because there's a 17 point favorite in this game in favor of the Celtics, obviously. But I think a lot of that is going to have to do with the amount of scoring that Jason Tatum is going to do. And the three and a half, three points line is like one of my favorites to play when they put this up of his. And I'll show you why. So first of all, let's go over the attempts. I mean, there's almost not a game where he's not getting into double digit attempts here. So, you know, he's like the lowest he'll go is like this eight or this nine. He dropped a um, only a six in that last Brooklyn game, but there was a blowout in that game. So that's my point here. Um, so if we look at this one for the three points made, even in that game where he shot six three-pointers, he made five of those. So he went ham on those, and he had a crazy scoring game, and they beat him 139 to 114. I think we'll see a pretty similar game in this game, but the three-and-a-half line is pretty, pretty uh, nice in my opinion. I mean, he's gone over this eight out of 13 games this season. Um, in the head-to-head, -head, he's got he hasn't gone over this, but they haven't played uh, this year yet, so I'm not really too worried about that head-to-head. -head. I think honestly, I think you know there's so many injuries like Scotty Barnes is out, Bruce Brown, Kelly Olynyk, Emmanuel Quickly. So there's a lot of injuries. Um, I think usually Scotty Barnes is covering uh, Jason Tatum, so Scotty Barnes is a good defender. Um, so I like this to go over three and a half. Um, you know, I'm not being agreed with here by Daily Grind. People got this to go under. 
Minus 122 to go under is probably the blowout potential and the fact that he hasn't hit it in any head to head. So it's a tough three point matchup for sure. If you guys don't like, you don't have to take it. But this three and a half line for the attempts that he's shooting, I mean, he's shooting 38% on 11 attempts per game, making 4.2 per game. So the, the stats are there for me. I'm going to be taking this one over. And then my pivot now is Austin Reeves for over, uh, 22 and a half points and assists. I like this line a lot. Great matchup, 20th in points, 25th in assists allowed. Um, he's gone over this in 8 out of 12 games this year, and he's gone over it in 3 out of 5 head-to-heads, and the 2 he's missed it in, he went for 22 in both those games. 22 PA, 22 PA. So the dude is definitely capable of doing this, Austin Reeves. If he gets out to a hot start in the first half, I like this a lot. Uh, Rui is a game-time decision. Um, LeBron and AD are not on the injury report list, so that's good. So we're going to have uh, AD, and we're going to have LeBron. Um, so I like that a lot. Um, I think it helps his assist line and, uh, you know, I like it. I like him to go over this line. I think it's going to be, you know, they've kind of pushed him into just like a scoring role now. And he's just like a, uh, you know, a role player. Now he gets in there and scores and he, he gets, finds some assists, but I like the points assist at 22 and a half because he's getting five, seven, six, 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 uh, six. So he's getting the assist for sure. So I like this to go over. I'm going to be taking the 22 points in the assist line. This is favored to go over. It's a 50.79% uh, chance to minus 121. So liking this play a lot. Um, you know, he's a, uh, it looks good in the head to head. So going to be taking that one for the over as well. Uh, the over under on this game is a seven point favorite to the Lakers. Um, I think that's fair. Cause if you look at the injury report list for the Pels, no Jose Alvarado, no Herb Jones, no DeJounte Murray, no Zion. CJ McCollum is finally a game time decision, so we'll see. I, I, I We'll just have to see because he hasn't played yet, I don't think, either. So their whole starting squad is hurt, and now Alvarado's hurt, too. So it, it doesn't look great for the Pels this year so far, but uh, I like this line to go over as well. The Chris Paul line. If you guys want to take that, I like it. I mean, if you can get it at eight and a half anywhere, I definitely like it if Wimby's a game time decision, especially now too. So we're still getting that on parlay play, but no, none of that on underdog or anything like that. But parlay play, we're getting Jason Tatum's two and a half three pointer line at 1.42x because they have a payout boost on it. So liking that over there. So I'm going to be rolling that payout special for the Tatum play over there. And uh, same plays on underdog, the, the Tatum threes and the uh, Austin Reese PA. So that's going to be what I'm rolling today. If you guys want to check out this optimizer from Daily Grind, this is the coolest part about it is you can type in someone's name and get all their plays, or you can take that name away and just get all the top plays right at the top of the board. If you guys want to take a look at some of these, go for it. But, uh, you know, this is why the value is nice with uh, the DFS optimizers. It helps you find the best plays on the board with their odds to hit indicator and their, their odds. I love it. Um, the DFS optimizer will help you cash more. So if you guys want to check this out, the optimizer, you can lock it in for as long as you want and you'll get 25% off of that very first purchase. So if you want to lock it in for like a year, you'll get 25% off of that cost and uh, it helps you cash a lot. So we always recommend locking in for a long time or, you know, like the year so you can get it for the rest of football and basketball. But uh, yeah, if you want to check this out, use the link in the description below. Use code backdoor for that 25% off. And then uh, if you guys want to check out Chalkboard, they're another DFS platform like Prize Picks and Underdog. And uh, they're, they're a lot of fun, too, because they run um, they have really good payout multipliers. And they also have uh, a bunch of specials they run every day. So they run like six to eight specials a day, depending on how many sports are going on today. I'm sure they're running a ton for all the sports that are going to be going on tomorrow and today. So definitely check that out. If you use code backdoor, they'll give you a hundred percent match up to a hundred dollars and they'll give you a free play to help you cash that first slip. So that's going to cover it all for me. All right. Let's see if my buddy Ash will come say hi. This is my boy. He's over here. Help me to look at some pivots. <laughs> He's staring um, at the light. <laughs> um, so uh, before I get into let me just show you guys. So those of you who watched the, the last video, you know, uh, shout out Ziggy Zay uh, from our Discord, one of our heavy hitters. Um, he uh, put this on our radar yesterday. Uh, Anthony Davis free throws made. It was super clutch. We're still getting this super cheap. We got it at five and a half yesterday. He went for 10. Um, and uh, Ziggy was uh, calling out specifically the head to head. He had gone for nine and eight in both head to heads. Uh, but, but yeah, I like this again today. So once again, Ziggy's the one who put this on our radar. 
because we're getting to that point where we're starting to get a lot of value in the free throws um and the free throw the props. first quarter <laughs> yeah he cashed it quick it was such a sweat free um and then if you want to take a look here in 2024 he's done this nine out of 11 times um just easy cash he does have a tough matchup first and free throws allowed um uh yeah, so first, that sounds like it's super juicy. They're they're the best at not allowing free throws. That's surprising <laughs> with how many people they have hurt, too. Yeah. Um, so go with your gut. Uh, I like that he's not on the injury report. Um, let me take a look. This is a closer spread than I was expecting. So 220. I know Brandon Boston Jr. has been killer for them. We loved him back in, uh, uh, you know, for the Clippers. And uh, now he's a Pelican. So with all these injuries, he's getting a lot of playing time. And we you know we we loved that dude for a while now so um i'm not surprised he's popping off but uh they're playing in new orleans there's a seven point spread favoring the lakers um but i'm gonna absolutely be running this back and uh and rolling this in some some slips too so that's just like one little extra uh gem if you guys want to check that out um and then if you want to come join our discord we have a really killer community. I say it every video, but it's because I truly love these people. Like, uh, it's just a big family in here. Shout out to Bean Daddy who hit the six man yesterday. Um, dang, dropped 35 bucks on it too. Dude, dude was confident in those plays. <laughs> I'm sad I missed it. I would have tailed that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we we work together as a family. Um, have, a, <laughs> have a lot of fun. Um, if you guys want to come, come join us, uh, if you want to come join us, you can take advantage of the parlay play special. That's going to give you 30 days in the discord. Plus you'll get that bonus cash uh, for signing up on parlay play, which um, I, I honestly, right now I go two mans or four mans on parlay play. Those are my favorite for, because they give you really good value on some of these plays. Like we're getting um, Keegan Murray, a full point lower. Uh, but uh, I've been kind of just, you know, sticking to the two mans and the four mans on parlay play. But if you uh, end up not uh, taking advantage of that deal and you want to just hop right in the Discord, you can sign up through Patreon. Uh, there's a link in the description of the video and it just manages our subscriptions. Once you do that, go into settings on Patreon, connected apps in the menu bar, and then you log right in. Then you can hop in the community chat. I say that every video too, but it's because we want to get to know you. Um, we you'll You'll see when you join our Discord, you'll see that uh, our family loves to welcome everybody and uh, get to know you and make sure you understand how everything works, how to get the most out of our Discord. Um, and uh, we've got our boy Moose in here, which some of the new members uh, I saw, they were they were talking about like this is, so this is why Russo is talking about you every episode. It's because yeah, dude, he's a, the king of two mans. So um, definitely come join us. And if you want to follow me, Jordy or Moose on X, uh, we have our handles in the description of the video. And then um, our main account um, uh, at Backdoor FS is, uh, uh, yeah, at Backdoor FS for uh, TikTok, Instagram, and um, and X. So, guys, hope you're having a good weekend. We also have some killer UFC. Jordy and I are about to knock out the NFL picks video for tomorrow, and then um, we're gonna relax and watch uh, some some uh, Jones versus uh, Stipe. I like how you did that. Um, UFC, and then we're what? gonna knock out some NFL. <laughs> no, <laughs> no pun you mean, included <laughs> you, you mean uh, nfl first and then ufc right? well you said or, you said we're gonna watch some ufc but we're gonna go knock out the nfl video oh yeah 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 <laughs> intentional pun yeah. for sure <laughs> but um but guys have a great rest of your weekend we'll see you in the nfl video in just a little bit and uh yeah we'll catch you soon good luck, guys <laughs>